Hi, my name is Max. We're going to be doing a 3D text tutorial thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Strap in, put on your helmets, have the good time. Press Control N or go to File New. Uh, we're going to make a file called Butts. It's going to be beautiful. Make sure it's uh, fairly big in pixel size. I picked 2000 by 2000, 300. I'm going to change it back to 72. I don't know why. 72 is the standard. You know, if you were to not ever change this ever from getting Photoshop, it would be 72. Press OK. So we have our canvas thing. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put a different color layer background. Put some some sort of soft a nice soft color. Because why not? You know, you don't have to do this. This isn't necessary at all. So we have this. Um what you're going to do now is I guess change the color because you're going to be putting text on the screen. We all love to do that. Let's pick a light color because we're going to be adding dark edges um later. So I picked the word butts. I felt like it was a good choice, you know. It's one of those, um, it's intuition. So we have our butts. I'm going to make it a tad smaller, because, because why not? So I'm going to go, I'm going to go 380. 380. Good. This is actually kind of Christmassy, and it's, and it's late December. This is, this is going very well. So we have our butts. We have our butts here. Uh, what you're going to need to do now is copy your butts by pressing Control J, or on Mac it might be like, Command J, or you can right click and press duplicate layer, whatever. So we have our butts copy. Um, what you're going to do with our butts copy is we're going to rasterize it, basically turning it into an image uh, rather than it being like a type file like this. So we can't edit the letters anymore, but it's identical visually. So just drag it out a bit from the original butts so it's kind of under it and off to the side because we need to see it when we're adjusting the curves, which you can do by selecting the butts copy and going to image adjustments curves um, so we have this and it just messes with the the brightness and contrast it makes it, I believe or just the brightness I don't know drag it down a bit you can see kind of how it changes in, in color you know so the, the reason we're changing it now is gonna be this is gonna be the color of the sides so I can't really tell you how to do it just you know obviously this is gonna be too dark this might be good um, I'm thinking here that, you know, we're going to be making it even darker for the bottom, so make sure it's not too dark. Okay, so we have our, we have our butts, and we, on the bottom, we have our butts copy, which is rasterized and darker. Um, so now, what we're going to be needing to do to, to add the third dimension to our butts, because we, we don't want a single dimension butt, or a two dimension butt, that's no fun. It's not even fun. Two dimension butts, are, you, that's a flat butt. <laughs> Hold alt. And and uh, you can in, you just hold alt and you press right down right down right down on the um, on the arrow keys. What that's going to be doing is copying them like a pixel away from each other. It's really really ghetto way of doing this, but it works. You know, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try anything different to later. You know, I'm not gonna do any actual 3D to later. Okay, so alt and then right down right down right down right down right down right down. Can you see what's happening? And just alternate until. See, I think that looks fine. So, uh, basically, we have our we have our central light, the lightest butts here, and every other butts is just, you know, layers stacked on top of each other, a little bit offset from each other. So there's no reason for them to be separate. Left click the top one, and hold shift and left click the bottom one. We have all of our butts uh, there. Merge the layers by pressing Control E or probably Command E, or you can right click it, and uh, you can like merge layers. But I I like to I like to Control E. You know, I like the I'm a hotkey guy hotkey kind of guy. So we have this sort of three-dimensional-ish thing. You could stop here, or you could go even better by doing this next step, which I I advise. So we're need to gonna we're gonna need to go in and select the bottoms of things to add a separate shade to the bottoms. So what I need what I mean what I mean is doing this and see sort of like on the corners. And this is why it's good to have a blocky text because. Um, these are going to be rounded if they're not, and it's going to be very difficult, and it's not it's just not fun. You need to do gradients at the side, and no one needs to do that. Nobody needs to do that. So to select more than one thing, you need to hold shift. See how the plus kind of shows up there? Hold shift and uh, just continue selecting the bottoms of everything. Like, this is a bottom. Um, what we're going to be doing, essentially, is making the bottoms of things a bit darker. So, yes. It's a bit tedious, but you get better at it over time. Um, I do this with a lot of my thumbnails because everyone else has like text on them. I'm like, dude, 
what if I could just like make 3D text? That'd be just the next step up and look look good and in things, and that's why I do it. So basically, you do it a lot, and you get you just get better from muscle memory and just persistence, and that's that's just how it goes. So make sure you're holding Shift throughout this whole thing to add to your selection. So it's basically going to be you know like one big selection after everything. So you don't really have to be perfect; it doesn't show up too much, um, depending on what you're using it for, of course. What the frick? Okay. That was almost bad. I left go with shift, but I didn't click anything. Good. That's a bottom. Yeah, S's are a bit. S's are a bit tricky. Because they have lots of bottoms. But you know what? I like lots of bottoms. So, <laughs> so that's okay. <laughs> Two more bottoms to go. And also, um, you wouldn't think it would be a problem, but you can miss bottoms. Not like, like yearning like, man... I'm never gonna see that bottom again, but like, um, you 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 just don't. Let's alt and scroll out and make sure we have all of our bottoms selected. Dude, I love selecting bottoms. We have them selected. Right click inside any of them and press layer via cut. What that does is it takes out our bottoms and makes them a separate layer. See so what you can do? You can toggle them out and the bottoms disappear, or you leave the sides. So you click on like this one, the sides disappear. It's kind of interesting. So make sure you have um, bottoms. This is the name of bottoms. Bottoms selected. Uh, this is what makes everything beautiful. Go to image, adjustments, and curves. And now that with bottom selected and curves, just drag us out a bit. And this is just going to. Oh, man. Yes. Uh, this is my favorite part. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. It's just. This is a color, and the sides are a bit darker, and the bottoms are even a bit more darker. And it's just true, it's just true, it's just three dimensional. Look at that, it's beautiful. Now, here's another thing you can do. This is an, another nitty thing. Okay, so um, you can merge these layers now. They're, you know, they're buds, right? Yeah. Um, this is just an extra step. I don't know what you're doing with your butts, but with this selected, you can go to FX, which is uh, stands for effects, even though it doesn't start with an F. Go to drop shadow, okay, on and make sure you do it on the um, the bottoms and the bottoms and sides, and not the top butts because this won't work. Um, and just add a drop shadow and make it extra. I like to bring out the distance and bring out the size until it looks kind of. Uh, see, look at that. This is that's like three. That's like three dimensions. We didn't really do much in this tutorial, and we got three dimensions. Thanks for watching. Uh, maybe I'll do more tutorials if I, you know, learn anything. It turns out I suck at Photoshop, so um, I do appreciate you watching. Thanks.